Local news about local people. This is Newslink Indiana. Good evening, I'm Chris Bavender. Thanks for joining us. Local charities are being hit hard by the rising gas prices. Many use their personal vehicles to do business for the organizations. Newslink Indiana's Nicole Richards explains. Muncie's Meals on Wheels require volunteers to use their own cars to deliver food to those who can't provide daily meals for themselves. That's why, with high gas prices, Director Susan Thomas is concerned for her 96 volunteers. It is a major concern for the drivers since they are volunteers and that most of them, 80% of them, are retired, so they must be on some type of fixed incomes. They do use their own cars and gas, which they get no compensation for. The Salvation Army in Muncie is also suffering from high gas prices. If the increase continues, they might have to start cutting services. Social Services Director Jody Fox Mason says, if the increase continues, they may have to cut transportation. But she has some ideas how the charity will compensate if they get rid of the services. Suggest carpooling, things like that, for them to get here, find them alternative means. Um, it, right now, it's probably cheaper to get them a bus pass than it is to pay for the gasoline to run the, run the trips around. Fox Mason also says when they made the budget for this fiscal year, gas prices were only around a dollar and a quarter. They did not expect the prices to jump to over $2. In Muncie, Nicole Richards, Newslink, Indiana. And the Salvation Army is especially concerned because they will soon be making trips to Bedford at least twice a week for day camp. The Muncie Cataract and Laser Center is opening the eyes of Muncie residents to the risk of glaucoma for free. The center will offer screenings from Thursday from 8 until 3. It's located at 3300 West Purdue Avenue on Muncie's north side. No appointments are necessary. The importance of early detection is that if we find out that the person is risk for, at, at risk for glaucoma, we can treat that pressure with eye drops in a very simple, very effective method, one drop a day in most cases. Now, glaucoma leads to vision loss or even early blindness. People who have immediate family members with glaucoma are of African ancestry or are age 50 or over should be screened every one to two years. Now, here's a look at your Newslink Indiana forecast. Keep those umbrellas out. Showers and thunderstorms are coming back tonight. 40% chance of rain, a low of 58. That is Newslink Indiana. Join us at 627 tomorrow morning for more news and get local news about local people 24 hours a day at newslinkindiana.com.